Do you know what time it is? It's tab time. Come on inside the room. Open your heart and mind. You never know what you find when you let a little love inside. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello there. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my garden. Mm. Can't believe I lost. Mm. Do you hear that? Mm. Someone mm. sounds upset. I lost. I wonder who that is. Uh. Mm. Can't believe I lost. Mm. Well, hello there, Ivy. Hey, Miss Tab. This is Ivy the Avocado. He's one of my best friends. Well, Ivy, what is going on? I lost a game of pitball. I really wanted to win, but I didn't. And how does that make you feel? Angry. Oh. Oh. I understand. You know, when we play games, we don't know if we're going to win or lose. So it's OK to feel bad. But what matters is that we keep playing. So you're saying I should go play again, even though I lost? Yes, you know why? Because next time, you might win. But you'll never know if you don't try. And besides, it's called pit ball, not quit ball. OK, I'll go play again. Thanks, Miss Tab. You're welcome, Ivy. Can I tell you something that's been on my mind? I can? Very good. You know, I've been thinking a lot about winning and losing. And I know sometimes, like Ivy, we get upset when we lose. And that makes us not want to play again. That makes me wonder, how do others feel when they win or lose? You hear that? That's our friend Breezy the Wind Chime. I think we should go say hello. All right, Ivy. You keep practicing, and I'll see you later. And remember, there's much more to playing a game than winning. I will, Miss Tab. It's game time. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Avi. Goodbye, Miss Tab. <laughs> well, hello there, Breezy. You sure have a beautiful time. What's that, Breezy? It's time to go on a special adventure to find out more about winning and losing. And we go there using our imagination. Would you like to go with me? You would? Very good. All right, Breezy, I will see you later. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo! laughs> Look, we're in our magic playroom. Let's fill it with our imagination. Let's move our bodies so that we wake up our minds. What do our imaginations have for us this time? Let's find out. in the land of toys. This looks like a great place to find out about winning and losing. Look, it's a toy bear in a flying shoe. And that headlight looks familiar. <laughs> it's my good friend, Lenny the Lightning Bug. Well, hello there, Lenny. Hey, Miss Tab. Meet my friend, Tommy. Well, hello there, Tommy. Nice to meet you, Miss Tab. You're just in time for the toy games. Oh, that sounds fun. Look, Miss Tab. It's a swimming pool. A swimming pool! I love swimming, but it takes my wings seven hours to dry, so it's a commitment. Up first will be Patty the scuba diver competing against Bud the bulldozer in a swimming race. On your marks, get set, go! Patty is off to an early lead while Bud is right behind him. And the winner is Patty! Good job, Patty. How did it feel to win? Flippertastic! Good race, bud. Thanks, Patty. <laughs> even though I lost, I give it two scoops way up. <laughs> You're happy even though you lost? Sure am. I went a lot faster than I thought I would. I've dug a pool before, but I've never swam in one. If that was your first time swimming, then you did very well. Hop aboard. It's time for the next game. Wait for me. Don't forget to buckle your laces. 
Look, Miss Pat, a magic carpet. <laughs> a racetrack, Lenny. A racetrack. Up next is a running race. It's Patty against Daisy the flower. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Pedals to the metal! Look at Daisy go. And look at Patty not go. Well, he's just moving very slowly, but he's trying very hard. The winner is Daisy! Good job, Daisy. And Patty, way to go. How do you feel? <sighs> I didn't win, so I'm a little frustrated, but I have fun, and that's what matters. Time for the third and final game! Wow! We're in a parking lot for a hamster. It's a jungle gym, Lenny. A jungle gym! The final game is weightlifting. Whoever lifts the heaviest rock wins. I'm nervous. I've never lifted something heavy over my head. On your marks, get set, lift! Ah. Use your flower power, Daisy. I'm doing it. Everything's coming up daisies. It's all the way over your head. I did it. But you lifted a lot more. That means I lost. The winner is Bo! How do you feel, Daisy? Sad. I wanted to win, but I got the rock all the way over my head, which I've never done before, and that made me feel better. Good, Good games, games, everyone! Lenny, did you see how Bud, Daisy, and Patty felt when they won and how they felt when they lost? Yeah. Sometimes they were happy and sometimes they were sad. But they were all still nice to one another even when they lost. You know what that's called? It's called being a good sport. Being a good sport. If we yell and get angry, that's called being a bad sport. We want to be a good sport, so we thank people for playing with us, even if they won, because they took time to have fun with us. But to do that, we have to be happy, even if we lost. How do we do that? That's a good question, Lenny. How can we be happy if we didn't win? What's that, Breezy? It's time to visit Miss Tab's lab. Well, that's a great place to answer our question. Goodbye, Lenny. Goodbye, toys. Goodbye, Miss Tab. Goodbye, Miss Tab. Miss Tab. Well, hello there. I'm Miss Tab, and welcome to my lab. Hi, Miss Tab. I'm Coach Good Game. Well, nice to meet you, Coach Good Game. What will you be showing us today? I am going to show you how to be happy even if you lose a game simply by using your mind. Wow, that sounds amazing. Now, how do we do that? Well, by playing a game, of course. Oh, OK. All right, let's go. This game is called Where is the Animal? Oh. We're going to hear an animal sound, and then you and I are going to run around this room and look to see where that animal is. OK, all right, I'm ready. Whoa, 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 not so fast, oh. Miss Tab. I like to go into games with a good attitude. That way, whether I win or whether I lose, I had fun doing it. OK. OK, I want to play this game because I love the way animals sound. I love the way a narwhal sounds in the morning. Mm. <sighs> Why do you want to play this game? Well. I want to run around and look for the animals. I think we should do it. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. Oh, that's a duck. A duck. I heard a duck. OK, let's see who can find the duck first. Uh, duck over here. Where are you, duck? Duck. Duck, where are you? Duck. Oh, I found it. I got the duck. I won. Woo! You won, but I lost, and I feel a little bit sad about that. Oh, it's OK if you feel sad, but do you remember why you wanted to play? Well, I wanted to run around to try to find the animals. Did you do that? I did, and I feel happy about that. I think I was so sad about losing that I forgot why I wanted to play. Amazing. You see, winning is only one part of why we play the game. You're right. OK. <laughs> you ready for our second game? I am. This is a little game that we like to call Balloon Sort, OK? Balloons are going to fall from the sky, and we are going to put the balloons based on their colors into the same color bins. 
The one who's got the most balloons in the bins wins. All right. We're gonna do it while we're wearing clown shoes. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, before we start, we gotta ask ourselves what question. Why do we wanna play this game? Why do you wanna play this oh, game? Well, I wanna run around in these giant shoes. Okay, <laughs> I like it. I wanna play because I wanna see some balloons. <laughs> Let's go! Here we go. Oh! I'm winning! Oh. 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 Here we go. Oh, you're beating me. You're winning. I think I'm a pro. I think I won. Oh. <laughs> Miss Tab, what was your favorite part of playing the game? Oh. I think running around in the clown's shoes. <laughs> well, your favorite part wasn't winning? Well, I guess not. I think it was just playing the game. I also noticed as you were running around, you started getting better and better at running in those crazy clown shoes. <laughs> That's another thing you should be happy about. Each time we play or practice on our own, even if we don't win, we get better at it. <gasps> you can also lose a game, but still win if you learned something or did better than you did before. We call that a personal best. All right, Miss Tav, are you ready for our final game? I am. Oh. <laughs> the three-legged race. Oh my goodness. We are gonna run this whole obstacle course before the clock runs out while our legs are tied together. Oh, now this is gonna be fun. All right, well, let's do it. <laughs> Come on, Miss Tav. All right. You're pulling, I'm pushing. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Set. Ah. Okay, this one's a little higher. Okay. All right, here we okay. go. All right. Now we're going down. We're going down okay. this tab. Okay. Oh. All right. Oh. Oh. The second one. Oh. oh. No, no. Miss Tab, we ran out of time. Oh. We lost, Miss Tab. Right. Now, I know what you're gonna ask. What was my favorite part about playing the game? And it was the obstacle course. So we can still have fun even if we lose, as long as we remember why we wanted to play the game. We could have fun, we could laugh, we could get a personal best, or we could make a new friend. That's right. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you win or lose. Maybe next time you'll win. Maybe next time you'll lose. Maybe next time you'll win. Next time you'll lose. It's the win-lose shuffle. Come on, Miss Tab, do it with me. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. That's the win-lose shuffle. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much, Coach Good Game. Thank you, Miss Tab. <laughs> oh, that's breezy. I'm gonna help Coach Good Game clean up, and then I'll see you at craft time. <laughs> Hello there, I'm Miss Tab. How are you doing? Good. Good. Can you tell me your names and how old you are? I'm Genesis and I'm five. Well, very nice I'm to meet Leah you, Genesis. And I'm six. Very good. I mean seven. Well, very nice to meet you, Leah. Well, you know what we've been talking about today? What? Winning and losing. Do you love to play any games? I like to play sports. Do you win a lot? Yes. Yes. Have you ever lost? Yes. Was it okay? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, since we're all talking about winning and losing, I have a friend that can maybe help us craft all about it. Who? Would you like to meet him? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> DJ Crafty! Hi, DJ Crafty! Hi, Genesis. Hi, Leah. Yeah! <laughs> all right! <laughs> Do you remember my pet, Sticky? Hi, Sticky! You're cute. Well, hello there, Sticky. Nice to see you again. Uh, Sticky is kissing my finger. Do you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Sticky, I think you can let me go now. <laughs> Sticky and I just competed in America's Got Tape, but we lost. We came in second to a jewelry box with a Scotch Terrier. Oh, well, DJ Crafty, I'm sure that you both did amazing. Yep. Yeah, isn't that right? DJ Crafty, we've been talking about winning and losing today. Did you have a craft that you could show us all about it? I absolutely do. Stick with me and Sticky, because we're the ultimate dream team. Are you ready to make some crafts, Genesis and Leah? Yes! 
Drum roll, please. Today, we're making good sport trophies, which we give out for celebrating things like not quitting, trying your best, or cheering for your friends. Oh, that sounds fun, right? Yeah. Since they don't give out those trophies, and we can make our own. Here are the supplies we will need. Poster board, construction paper, crayons, scissors, and the stickiest of glue. Are we ready to get started? Yeah! Okay. All right. All right, so the first thing we do to make our good sport trophies is we get some construction paper and scissors. You ask your grown-up to help you, and you cut whatever shape that you like. So this one is a cup. This one is a star. We already pre-cut ours, OK? I like that one. You like that yes. with the handles? So we can make these for ourselves or someone that you want to celebrate. You can draw, you can glue on there, whatever you like. And you can also use tape. Isn't that right, Sticky? He says that's his business. And that's right, uh-huh. <laughs> What's something that you would like to be proud of? Mm, playing sports? Playing sports. So what would you like to put on there? Some type of baseball bat or soccer ball. OK, well, you can draw that. I'm going to draw me and my brother. Very good. You're proud of yourself and your brother. My brother has a lot of hair like he, me. He does? My brother's hair is the color of yours. It is? Yeah. You both just gave me a good idea. What? I think I'm going to draw my hair on here because I'm very proud of her. <laughs> OK, I'm going to do that. I'm going to draw my fish. You took care of it, didn't you? Yes. Right, so then that is something to be proud of. That's amazing. You're both artists. Can you show DJ Crafty? Hold it up and show what you got so far. I have a smile, two eyes that are green and yellow. You also yeah. drew who? My brother, Legend. That's right. Good job, because you're proud of your brother, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Love that. OK, Leah, show DJ Crafty what you've done I so far. I made a happy face with two eyes, and then a smile, and then a soccer ball, and a bat, and then my fish. They all look like winners to me. And I'm proud of both of you. And that's why I put Genesis and Leah on there. See that? Because I'm proud of you both. And check this one I made for Sticky. What's a good Sticky? Yes, you. Yes, you. You the Sticky. You the Sticky Meister. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You. <laughs> My goodness. Look at that. Let's see here. Too Sticky. You'll always be first place in my heart. Love, DJ Crafty. That was so sweet, DJ Crafty. Sure was. And thank you so much for sharing a craft with us today. Anytime, Miss Tab. Great job, Genesis and Leah. You really knocked this craft out of the park. We had fun, fun. DJ Crafty. <laughs> so much. Yay! Bye, DJ Crafty. Bye. I really appreciate you. Bye, DJ Crafty. Wasn't that fun? Mm -hmm. Yes, I had so much fun with you both. Is there anybody that you're proud of that you can give this trophy to? For my mom, because I'm grateful for her and I love her. Very good. And what about you, Leah? I want to give it to my siblings. They always play games with me. Oh, I think they're going to be very excited. Now, can I ask one thing of you? Yes. Yep. Would you help Miss Tab clean up? Yes. You would? Very good. All right. Put all the markers away. Yes. Oh, that's breezy. We're going to clean up, and then I'll see you at snack time. <laughs> it's snack time. Don't forget to wash your hands. It's snack time. It's snack time. Let's make something tasty. It's snack time. Paper, spatula. Ah. Well, hello there, Bernie and Starla. Hi, Ms. Tab. Are you two playing a game? Yeah, but Starla keeps changing the rules. You know how much I love rules, Miss Tab. I do. So what's the name of the game you're playing? We were playing rock, paper, scissors, but I was losing, so I changed it to rock, paper, spatula, which means spatulas always win. Yay for me! Well, changing the rules to the game, Starla, isn't fair. And it doesn't make the other players feel good. How would you feel if Bernie changed the rules on you? I'd feel bad. I'm sorry, Bernie. Thanks, Darla. I feel better now. But what are we making today, Ms. Tab? So today, we are talking all about winning and losing. And so we are going to make sweet and salty popcorn basketballs. Because sometimes when we win, we can feel a little sweet. And sometimes when we lose, we may feel a little bit salty. That sounds 
Great. That's true. All right, well, let's talk about what we'll need to make our snack. So we have some pretzels, dried cranberries, golden raisins, dried apricot, almonds, vegan butter, marshmallows, and, of course, popcorn kernels. Let's get it popping! Yes, let's, but in a calm way. In a very calm way, let's take our popcorn kernels over here, and I'm gonna pop some popcorn, but you make sure you have your grown-up help you with this, okay? <laughs> wow, it's like the 4th of July. But you can eat it! So now that your popcorn is all done, let's move back over here to our marshmallows. We're gonna put them in our little bowl here, and then we'll get our butter. Be sure to have your grown-ups help you melt this. Wow! All right, so now time is of essence. We have to play our own game here so this doesn't get too sticky. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna add a little bit of the popcorn into our marshmallow mix. Like so, like that. And then we're gonna add our toppings. Put our almonds in there our cranberries, apricots, golden raisins, and pretzels. Mm. And mix it all up. I love mixing things up. <laughs> Me too, Starla. Now, once you've mixed it all up and it's cooled down a bit, that's when you can start to make your basketball with your hands. Oh. oh. You shape it like so, like that. You see that? And then make a couple of them and put them on a plate. <laughs> These look amazing, Miss Tab. They do, don't they? All these different colors in here remind me of all the different ways we can win, like ribbons, medals, and trophies. <laughs> all right, are you ready for some basketballs? Yes, yes please. please. OK, Bernie, you're up first. I'm ready. <laughs> Nothing but me. Mommy. Are you ready, Starla? Don't flip out. <laughs> mm, this snack is so tasty. And I think I can pass my own to myself. Mmm. <laughs> Mmm, I think that's a slam dunk. Mmm, mm, it's both sweet and salty. That's right. We can have two different tastes at the same time, just like we can have two different feelings at the same time, whether we win or lose. Okay, Bernie. I challenge you to a game of rock, paper, spatula. Hey. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, oven mitt. <laughs> I should have seen it coming. <laughs> well, that was fun. Oh, do you hear that? That's Breezy. She says it's story time. Bye, Bernie. Bye, Starla. Bye, Bye Miss Tab. Tab. <laughs> okay. Well, now it's time to tell the story of our day. But first, I need to find my friend Lovey. You remember her, right? She looks like a glowing heart. Would you help me find her? You would? Okay, thank you. Well, do you see her anywhere? You do. This teacup? <laughs> well, hello there, lovey. Would you like to join us for story time? <laughs> you know, the wonderful thing about lovey is she always knows how I'm feeling. As my feelings change, lovey's colors change too. Like right now, I'm feeling happy to be here with you at story time. So lovey is green happiness. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. Today in the garden, Avi was angry because he lost that pit ball. And we got curious about how others feel when they win or lose. And you see, that's why Lovey is orange, for curiosity. We went on a special adventure and met all kinds of toys. They won and lost playing all sorts of games. And they showed us that we can feel lots of different things when we win and lose. And when we were in the lab, we played games with Coach Good Game. And I got a little bit frustrated when I lost. And that's why Lovey is red, for frustration. But Coach Good Game reminded me why I wanted to play in the first place. To have fun, make new friends, maybe get a personal best, and to always be a good sport. And that's why I decided not to quit, and that made me very proud of myself. And that's why Lovey is purple, for pride. You know, winning and losing can make us feel so many different ways. How do winning and losing make you feel? However you feel is the right way to feel, because those are your feelings and they matter. You know, we can even feel different feelings all at the same time, and that's okay too. But remember, whether you win or lose, you're always special to me. That's Breezy. She's saying it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> Thank you for this time today. 
the friends we made, the food we ate, the stories and imagining. So glad we had this time with you today. I've had the best time with you all today. You are amazing. So amazing that I think you should give yourself a big old hug, and I'll give myself one too. <laughs> Doesn't that feel good? So glad we had this time with you today. Well, I'm gonna go out into the garden and tell Ivy all about our adventures today. And you can tell your family and friends at home too. And I want you to have a good day today. But even if you can't have a good one, don't you dare go messing up nobody else's hen. Very good. I love you and I'll see you next time. <laughs>